Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the mighty mini tropos of Marnie, Iowa, Baxter Cycle. And we are gonna take another look here at this Baxter Custom Works bike. It's a little bit farther along. Maybe you guys have seen the other video, maybe not. I'll kind of go through the whole thing. So this started its life as a Continental GT. And uh, doesn't look like a Continental GT anymore, anymore does it? But uh, it's had all kinds of magic done to it. And uh, you'll kind of see that as we go along here, the rear end's different. Look at the suspension components. Engine looks different. You know, check this out here, Brembo. Uh, it started as a 650. They bored it out with a 865 big bore kit. They put in high uh, SNS 11 to 1 compression pistons, I think. They've got this uh, Revelry racing head that's ported and polished and all that neat stuff. Really opened it up, really did some good stuff to it. Then they also put this Revelry racing uh, throttle body in here. And those, I think they're 40 millimeter. They're larger than normal. I wonder if the gas is hooked up. Yep, yeah, you can see it moving in there. Isn't that cool? Maybe on this side a little better. So larger throttle bodies. It's got SNS cam. It's got large diameter valves, heavy duty springs, all that kind of neat stuff. They put one of them magic computer thingies on there that makes uh, motorcycles do you know extra neat stuff. But check it out on this side, isn't that neat? Okay, here we can see the linkage a little better of the throttle body. Isn't that cool? Um, they've got a gas tank that's going to be from the Continental GT gas tank. They want that look on here. They've got that in the paint shop right now. They showed me some pictures of it. It's going to be really amazing. Oh, stepping down here, they got this all tore apart. Uh, they're going to put this recluse clutch in there, and the, that's supposed to make things, I don't know, do magic things better, I guess. Whatever, whatever motor magic kind of nonsense happens. Um, relocated the ignition. Let's walk over here to this side again. So the key is over here now. The battery is actually up here. They put this little tidy kit here, cleaned out a bunch of stuff, the air, you know, the air intake system, all that neat stuff. Wiring's been hidden under here. Battery's up here. Just all kinds of goodies there. These are interceptor foot pegs, and I'm not sure what kind this, these are interceptor brackets. I'm not sure what kind of foot pegs these are. Are these what you have on yours, Mitch? Your bike? Yes. What kind are they? I believe they were tech. Tech foot pegs, okay. And they're adjustable, they spin this way and they do all kinds of neat things. Okay, jumping up here. So they put interceptor style bars on here and here's the brand of the bars. Renthal, and they did all kinds of goodies here. Now let's, uh, so we've got, uh, they're probably built well grips. This looks stock, well, maybe not, maybe not. But check out these, uh, I can't read that upside down. <laughs> RC2, RC2 grips, I don't know what they are, but uh, that's the clutch lever needs adjusting. Obviously the clutch is not in. And they're adjustable for throw this way. Really cool looking stuff. I like that. And if you look at the brake, same thing with the reservoir. Let's walk over there and take a gander at that. So a new reservoir, what's that say? Magura, Magura, HC3. Looks like there's adjustable rate for clutch, adjustable throw the distance here and look at this it bends up and down for some reason and of course again the barrel shaped grips on the throttle right there i like it i like it check out this little uh, headlight bracket holder big old chrome headlight right there me gusta mucho uh jumping over here oh wait a minute i gotta show something else for the front end k-tech i think these are k-tech adjustable uh fork tubes with a progressive springs in them so i think you can adjust rebound dampening all that neat stuff that'd be really nifty huh Jumping down here, look at the disc. Got one of them wavy disc. Wavy disc work better, right? Brembo, check that out. So we got an upgraded master cylinder and we got Brembo caliper down here. Isn't that nifty? I don't know what they're going to do in the back. Maybe they'll do something back there too. That's the stock one for now, but wait and see what happens. Wait and see what happens. I like it. Uh, the tire is a, uh, it says Metzler. Not sure what kind. This is a pro. This is not, this is gonna, they're going to replace this one. Road Tech maybe? Something like that. Really neat tire. That should be really nice. I don't see the other one laying around here, the back one, but they're going to replace the back one. They put this uh, infill precision, or I'm sorry, MK Design chain guard, and that's supposed to be a little, give you a little more width so you can run a wider tire. I think they're going to one size up from stock, one or two sizes. And then, of course, you notice the Olins. That's really going to make it handle. So, Olins on the rear end, K Tex on the front, adjustable, new master cylinder. Brembo calipers, wavy disc, great tires. 
it's really gonna be a it's really gonna be a runner. And checking it out over here, they've got this cut back. It's got the little swoop up, and then this seat is oh, another MK Designs. They have a lot of good product out there. I don't know if this kit is an MK Design either. Just a real good looking thing. They talked about relocating the oil cooler at one point. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. Of course, this will be. This is all. This is a work in progress. Oh, how could I forget? This is the SNS qualifier exhaust system. It's got these little, I don't know what these are for here. But Anna Banana, the flat tracker, had this exact exhaust on her bike. And uh, one of the mechanics here, or one of the salespeople here, has the same thing on his bike. But look at this. Just humongous. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? And the sound is its just amazing. Oh, and they're going to cut these off, I think. Make it into a, you know, solar riding machine. At least that's what this says. Cut off. So... I like it. No center stand. Like I said, it started as a Continental GT. They vapor blasted the valve covers and the side covers. I'm assuming they did the same thing to the uh, clutch cover, but I don't see it anywhere, so I can't tell you for sure. We'll see more on this bike. Like I said, the tank is coming in. It should be in next week, we hope. And more of the goodies, the taillight stuff. We'll figure all that out as, as this goes along. Uh, the goal is, what they hope for is a bike that handles much better, brakes much better, and also produces, if we're lucky, about 70 horsepower. Uh, that's the hope. You know, we'll, and they actually want to dyno this one, so we'll see what we get yeah, at the rear wheel. Let's see, what else can I show you about this thing? We'll step over here and take a good look at the front. Oh, LED headlight. They put an LED headlight in that can. Um, at one point, they talked about different wheels, but I'm not sure they're going to do that now. We've got a black wheel on the front and a gold or a aluminum one on the back. So we'll see what they do with that. So stay tuned. Like I said, Baxter Custom Works bike. If you go to BaxterCycle.com, they've got a page that has all their Baxter Custom Work hot rods on there. And uh, they're just amazing. Loads of fun to ride, too. If you all are in the market for a newer used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic bridge bike of any type, need parts, accessories, gear, gloves, boots, <laughs> jackets, doodads, thingamajigs, anything at all, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, if you have nice weather where you're at, and even if you don't, get yourselves out there and ride, my friends. Life is good. Wahoo!